Okay, first off, you're going to want to go into the XDO developer's website. Um, when you get there, click on uh, forms then scroll down to your, uh, till you find your device. That's going to be a Galaxy S. Um, there's a number of forms, there's an i9003 and then there's an i9000 as well, that's the Galaxy S. Um, you're going to click on that. There's a complete list of ROMs that someone's made a sticky, so you can just click on it. Um, you can go down through either ROM, but I'm just going to show you how to do uh, Darkie's ROM. It's, um, it's actually, I think, one of the best ROMs that you can have on the phone, it's light and fast. Um, you can there's a, a a guide that you can click on it and it's pretty good if you can't follow this guide you can um follow so I can't remember what the uh the poster's name is but anyway I downloaded them before because I had a I, I installed them on the Galaxy S and I was just doing it with my friends so um you can download <coughs> download them both about in the description you're gonna to want to keep the uh, Darkies ROM as a zip. Don't unzip it, and then you're gonna to have to download Odin. And um, there is one problem with Odin. You can um, it may like there's 1.7 and there's 1.3. 1.3 apparently works better with 64-bit systems, uh, Windows 7. Uh, I got a problem here. <clears throat> I'll show you now. Uh, top left-hand corner. You're gonna to want to. Uh, it's supposed to be yellow, but when you when you get when you get it working, you can uh, put the phone into download mode. That's power, volume down, and home button. Hold it down for about ten, five ten seconds. It'll turn into download mode. Then you're going to want to connect it. This uh, this Odin right now is a uh, isn't working, so uh, I opened up a different one. I'll put both download <coughs> download in the description, so you can um. You can you can download either one that works. Uh, you're gonna pick your PIF file that <clears throat> comes in your Odin download, and then the other PDA file as well. You're gonna select them both, put them in where it says PIF, where one where it says PDA. Then when you have that done, you can um <clears throat> well basically. I, I was trying to think why isn't this working and then I was like oh maybe because it's the other one so then here I downloaded the new one. Oh no I think this is either one yeah I think it's 1.7 this one is so I press start after I loaded the pit files and the PDA files uh, you connect your phone it says add it in the little box down the left bottom left um, wait until it says add it and in when your phone should be in download mode and the, it should uh, come up in the where that blue box is right now then you can press start. Okay, so basically your phone will be rebooting now. There's the uh, in the the, the drivers installed. You're gonna need to ha you're gonna have to have keys installed in your laptop <coughs> or computer or whatever Mac, whatever you wanna have. Um, it's uh, it has all the drivers for it. If not, you can go through the XDA website and there's a lot of drivers there you can download. The uh, fir first boot up should probably it would be a long boot up, um, it will take its time. But if um, if it doesn't boot up fully, you can either reflash it or you can take the battery out and try it then. And if it still doesn't work, you can just reflash it again. Um, that's mine. Mine worked first time on both phones, so it mine and apparently. Galaxy S's are fairly hard to break, so you can um, get a bit of leeway. Then, once you have that done, your phone boots up, put it to USB mode, get your darky zip that you downloaded, put it into a file into your SD card, and uh, make sure you have enough room. I think it's two or three, two hundred megabytes, two or three hundred megabytes. I just put it into a, a download folder because. When I put it into the root of the SD card, it, uh, it w wouldn't actually pick it up in, in Clockwork mod, so I, I put it into the uh, download. Um, then you're going to want to 
take it out of a uh, USB mode. Uh, reboot the phone into recovery. Oh no, sorry. First of all, you're gonna want to download Darkies configuration ROM. I think you can install the zip through Darkies. I'm not sure. I haven't. I haven't actually done it through the ROM, but um, I don't know. If you if you want to if you want to try it through the ROM, you can. But if you download this app, I haven't actually gotten this app to properly work. I'm not sure how well it works because I picked the circle battery icon and never gave it to me. But that's because I think I, I have to install it through uh, Darkies configuration ROM. This you can choose what kernel you want. You can choose modems. You can pick pick whatever you want. You don't have to pick any. That you you can pick all. It's up to you. So basically, this is this is what you have after you just flash the own. It's just Android two point three point three, with uh, I think it has lag fix and stuff in it. See, so yeah, there's the darkies ROM. Our darkest kernel. Save and exit. So basically, I'm just rebooted into power or into recovery. You can do that by pressing power button, bringing up the menus, and it'll give you the option to boot into um, like power off, reboot, whatever. Uh, and then there'll be a recovery and hit the recovery. So you're going to want to go down to install a zip off SD card. Then, uh, then find the darkies ROM zip. So that's the one you want. Um, it will be in the folder that you put it in. So once you can find that, you'll be okay. And then you can apply the zip. Don't apply update zip because that's obviously not the thing. But when you find it, you can click on it. This is what you'll get. As soon as this installs, you can um, <coughs> you basically have Darkies ROM 10.1. This is the Resurrection Edition. Um, it's going to reboot. As soon as the installation finishes, you can just go <coughs> back into the menu Clockwork Recovery, press Reboot System now, and then it'll be done. So um, if you want to rate, comment, and subscribe, I appreciate it. Put a bit of time into doing these tutorials um thanks